right, a quickie for Sunday night. Um, this is something that I thought everybody knew, but apparently they don't. Um, so I'm setting up for cutting the gears for Piglet's new vertical head. Um, I have my minimum viable uh, division head here. It's actually a rapid dividing head that's uh, that's converted, um, but, I've, but I'm converting. Um, now, uh, what I've got here is a disc, which is in fact the uh, the platter off a three and a half inch hard drive. It has 24, 25 and 30 hole rings on it. And uh, that will enable me to do exactly 60 divisions and a very near approximation to 61. Now, um, I don't know how how used to using dividing heads you are, but look, uh, basically what, what you have is you have a bunch of sector arms. And let's say I wanted to do 88 divisions. Um, I would have to, I would, I would use the, uh, the 24, the 24 hole ring, the one on the inside. So I set up my, uh, my dividing pin to go into the holes in the center, in the, in the 24 hole ring. And I set up to have 11 holes between my sector arms. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, there you go. That was a pretty good guess. And we set up and we tighten up there so that our sector arms stay together. We choose our starting position, and then every time we want to divide, we pull out the pin, come round, we do our eleven hole divisions. Yep, get in there. Yep. And then we come around here, and then again around we come into our hole, and then bring sector arms around. And we do that 88 times, and you'll notice that every time that I do this, the spindle moves a wee smidge. And there you go. So that's how you do 88 divisions. You use on this on this head, which has got a 55 to one, uh, 55 to one uh, gear, and I've got a 24 a 24 hole uh, disc. We can get 88 divisions by using 11. Now, once we start using less divisions, it's uh, well if we if we if we if we're using, if we're using less divisions, um, we just need to bring the sector arms closer together. But there actually comes a point where you can't move the sector arms any further apart. And in my case, for a 24 hole ring, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 holes. Anything more than 16 holes, I can't do. Now, this is what I thought everybody knew, um, but it's not the case because I saw a video recently where a guy had actually cut his sector arms tighter in like so so that he could use more holes which is daft he's ruined his sector arms basically um, now to do 60 divisions here I need to do 22 holes out of 24 and the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use I'm going to leave the extra holes so what we're going to have is three holes difference between three holes showing let's tighten up again because you if you were going round from here you go all the way around and you get to 22 23 24 so we want to stop at 22 so what we're going to do we do exactly the same thing as before but rather than going in between the sector arms so we move our sector arms to there um, so rather than going between the sector arms, we go all the way around and go into the 22nd hole and then bring the sector arms back all the way around into that 22nd hole and bring the sector arms back all the way around into that 22nd hole bring the sector arms back all your sector arms need to be able to do is half of the disc. If you can do half of the disc, you can do any number of divisions with this. So, there you go.
first quick thing if you've ever wondered how you go about doing this that's how you do it you don't do it within the sector arms you do it around the sector arms and move the sector arms backwards like so except I wasn't in the hole but hey there you go quickie for Sunday night